And here we are. We're back. Uh, Michael Langston with Warchant.com. Certainly a lot of exciting news already uh, with Trey Benson uh, certainly announcing he's returning. So that's big news. But on the recruiting front, it's big, too, because we're finally made it to the weekend. Uh, certainly uh, going to be a busy weekend. Uh, for now, we know that uh, seven official visitors are, are expected there. Uh, for that people want to go there, you can see it. Uh, have the, I already have a live updates uh, thing going up. They hadn't started yet, so don't get excited. But uh, I'll just r- list off the guys. Uh, tight end Kyle Morlock, tight end athlete Jeremy Bell, South Carolina transfer. Edwin Joseph, he's currently getting ready to win a state championship with Chaminade. So I think they're, they're getting ready to win that. So he's already in tally. That, that state championship, I think, is in tally. And then uh, Jeremiah Byers, offensive lineman from UTEP, is there. And then defensive end Ruben Bain is also supposed to be there. Linebacker Cameron Robinson, a Virginia commit out of Virginia. He's a guy expected to be there. And then defensive back Devontae Brown, who is the brother of Damari Brown, who FSU is recruiting in the 2023 class. Devontae is a transfer from UCF. So a lot going on. There's seven official visitors, but I think uh, I would not be surprised, guys, if there's one or two more that, that jump in there. There may be a surprise that – that show up. Uh, I was told around 10 and that was when that was before Derek Hunter situation happened where that, that visit was called off. Um, but um, so that, that leads about eight or nine possibly to, to possibly be there. So that's something I'll keep an eye on to see if there's more visitors that pop up. That's what we have though. Those guys coming in certainly uh, a lot of, a lot to go over as far as the, I'll go through the tight ends real quick. Uh, I think with, um, uh, Kyle Morlock, I think that's a guy that I feel pretty good that, you know, where FSU stands. I think FSU is is the favorite early on right now. I think early on the 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 buzz was that that Tennessee was the biggest competition, and they still could be down the line, but uh to my knowledge, there's no visit set up to Tennessee yet. Um there was previously tentative one, but I think it's kind of where they're a wait and see now. Uh the plan as I put in my recruiting mill earlier today is um FSU visit this weekend followed by a visit to Illinois for official visit, and then followed by a visit to um, Auburn. Uh, after that, I think they were going to discuss if they were going to take one to Tennessee or not. Uh, right now, those are the ones that I, I know of, and those seem to be the four teams that I know. But I think FSU sits in a really good spot. And I was told, like, uh, if if things go well and everything clicks and he feels ready, you know, you know Kyle might, might decide this weekend but we'll, or after the visit, but we'll see. Um, you never know how those visits go. And then another guy, Jaheim uh, Bell, really electric uh, playmaker. I'm not even going to call him tight end because he's he plays athlete. He plays receiver. They line him up just about everywhere. Uh, one of the most explosive guys in the in the South. Uh, certainly a guy that FSU desperately would like to add to that room, uh, whether you call it H-back or tight end. I think uh, Mike Norvell went to see him today from what I was told uh, by some from contacts around Jaheim. And so... I think that's guys certainly to focus on. Offensive lineman Jeremiah Byers is another guy that um, you know Atkins went to see recently, and then now obviously he set the official visit up. and And I've heard this isn't going to be a long drawn out process with Jeremiah. I could see something, you know, possibly if everything goes well, it's another one to keep an eye on that you know could um, you know end a little bit earlier than expected, but. Certainly, FSU is a major factor. Picked up a high, uh, Oklahoma offer and a Penn State offer, I guess, even today. So we'll see how that goes, if those offers change anything or, or, or what his plans are. But uh, that's the gist I get with that. Uh, certainly, there's a lot more. Uh, you got Ruben Bain coming in. I think he's leaning towards Miami right now. So FSU will have some work to do, uh, you know, to certainly just, you know, make their last stand. This is it. This is their official. So uh, certainly – They'll have a chance to pull it off. And then also linebacker Cameron Robinson. That's a kid FSU went to see last week. And I think uh, Norvell did an in-home with him. So that tells you how much a priority is. So I definitely think he's a guy that they covet. Um, so that's a guy to watch. And then I mentioned defensive back Devontae Brown. That was probably the n- most recent last-minute setup. FSU has been talking to him, stopped by to see him. And so uh, he is the brother of Damari Brown. So that's kind of a connection where – yeah, they could possibly go to the same school. So certainly, so if FSU can lock down Devontae, that would be a big deal as far as uh, might might impact the other recruitment. So certainly a lot going on with those guys. I've uh, For those that missed it, um, there's a there's certainly a recruiting mill that you can read uh, that I put up uh, that was put up just uh, probably uh, last night, I think, by Irish FL Rowan. And 
There's a lot of intel, covers everything, covers the three main targets that I've heard on the offensive line from the transfer portal, because I think that's the number that FSU has that it's been three, four, no more than that. So uh, I gave I give you three of the targets to kind of watch out for that are that are major pressing needs. And then I went over uh you know the the cancellations of DJ Chester not visiting this weekend. I went over that in in a mill on our board. So you can read all that. Go on PRB. You can see all the reasons why that happened. And then as well, obviously people know about the Derek Hunter one. So there's a there's a lot going on. Not as much as from from the transfer portal, but certainly uh, could be a big weekend. Could be exciting weekend. Maybe decisions are made. We'll see how the visits go. As I pointed out, I will be there at Moore Athletic Center tomorrow. Um, I'm expecting uh, the recruits to start arriving around you know lunchtime noonish. Um, so uh, certainly I'll be out there to see who's showing up, and and if there's any surprises, I'll I'll certainly be there. So. Um, stay glued to warchant.com. We'll certainly have all the transfer news that you need. I don't see anything, uh, you know, that was really jumping out to me yet, uh, from the transfer portal, at least today. Um, a lot of people have asked me like, you know, Mike, what happens if, um, you know, they, if somehow, you know, Fabian Lovett returns and then somehow Jared Verse returns, I think what that does, it probably closes off those positions at defensive end and, and defensive tackle, in my opinion, um, I think you, you get pretty close to what, what you want. Now, maybe they could go after another uh, defensive tackle and maybe in the high school ranks or somewhere else, but I don't see them going after a guy from the portal. And then a defensive end, I think that's more cut and dry. Like if Jared returns, I just can't see them going after another one. And then a lot of people have asked me too about the linebacker position. Do I think, I think the focus is getting it done with Cameron Robinson this week. I think if you get that, you get that guy on board. You get him the flip up from Virginia. I think you're also done with that position. Then we really trickle down to the safety position where that's kind of one of the biggest focus. Both I think FSU wants a one from the portal as a safety, and I think they also want one from high school. Certainly it feels like their top option or top target has been Conrad Hussey. He hasn't been there since the summer. Liked FSU growing up, but he's committed to Penn State. But you know, there's confidence from my FSU Intel I got that that they can get him on campus, but I'm sure FSU is going to see him again in home next week and then hopefully solidify an official visit and, and get it done. So that's kind of kind of where they're at with that. Another guy at, at linebacker that they're involved with, Caleb Woodson. That's a guy that I think it might be kind of a you know second tier guy as far as if they don't get Cameron. So that guy's kind of one to watch in case they have to go that direction. And as far as the safety position, Sean Russ out of Dunbar is a guy that uh, certainly has had a big year. I could see FSU circling back to him if something didn't go awry with or didn't go, go right with Conrad Hussey out of St. Thomas Aquinas. So that's kind of the things I'm tracking. But, uh, you know, what's left, I think, in, in this portal is the secondary position. And once they get that, I think I mean, once they finalize that, I think we're going to get closer to the finish line. But like I said, stay tuned to Warchant.com. We'll have all your transfer recruiting needs, and we'll certainly cover everything with the official visit starting this weekend.